Hello everyone and welcome back to Nightmares in Nature. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G. Today, we're tackling the rest of the feline family. Basically, today we're talking about small cats, which is any cat that's not in the panther genus. Which means that I've technically already covered small cats before when I talked about the cheetah. But anyway, let's just get to the main video. The main difference between large and small cats is that small cats are able to purr, and they overall look a lot like a cat you'd find in your house. But don't try to pet them, they're still wild animals. Actually, just don't approach wild animals in general, that's like the number one rule in nature. Okay, okay. Because even if they're not aggressive, they can still carry diseases and the like. So, do not approach wild animals, kids. First up, we got the lynx, which is a genus that's also named lynx. Yeah, they weren't being very creative there, were they? Anyway, these cats are notable for the weird tufts of hair they have on their ears. To this day, no one's quite sure what they're for, but the leading theory is that they somehow boost their hearing abilities. So, yeah. The lynx can be found in both America and Europe. Then, there's the bobcats. Like the lynx, they have a similar looking tail, which is that they basically have no tail at all. It's just kind of a stub. In fact, cats with no tails in general are called bobbed. So, yeah, that's where they get the name from. Then there's ocelots, which look like tiny jaguars. Then we got the tiny rusty cat, which is the smallest feline. There's the fishing cat, which spends a lot of time near water and has a diet mostly consisting of fish, hence its name. And then there's the wild cat, which looks almost exactly like a domestic cat, because they're where domestic cats came from. So yeah. You know, I'm kind of amazed that wolves almost look nothing like dogs, but a cat's ancestor looks almost identical to it. I guess it makes sense. We spent thousands of years domesticating dogs to get them to how we want them. And that ended up with us having things like chihuahuas and pugs. But cats? Cats haven't really changed all that much since we domesticated them. Appearance-wise, I mean. Behavior-wise, it's like night and day. While I'm here, let's also talk about civets. They kind of look like cats, but they're not really cats. And they look like a mix between a cat and a raccoon. There's not much to say here. They, they have a weird appearance and like skunk. Some of them have musk glands that they can use to defend themselves. Yeah, I never said this would be a long mention. Now let's look at the cards. Alright, the genet is fine, and the lynx is fine. Well, small cats are where we get our cats from, so that's kind of a major human relation thing. And as for individual species, mm, lynxes and bobcats are relatively frequent in media. Ocelots, of course, appear in Minecraft, which is their most famous role. Um, hmm. can't really think of anything else. Well, that's all for this episode of Nightmares in Nature. And since this episode is about cats, next time, we're doing dogs. See ya!